Well, hello, welcome to my kitchen. Easter is right around the corner and I wanna show you one of my favorite Easter desserts and that is a coconut poke cake. This is one of my family's favorites. I've been making it for years. It's the perfect springtime and summer dessert. Now, if you're looking for one of those little cutesy cakes that are shaped into the image of an Easter bunny, this one is not it. But if you're looking for a moist, delicious, light and flavorful cake, then you have found the right place. I'm starting with a white cake mix and I'm pretty much making it according to the package directions. With the exception of using milk instead of water. And I'm also adding a package of coconut cream instant pudding. This is optional. If you don't have the pudding, it's okay. The cake is still delicious. And I've got a half of a cup of vegetable oil. And like I said, I'm using milk instead of water. If I wanted something really rich and decadent, I have been known to add either buttermilk or heavy whipping cream to my cake mixes. Oh my goodness, makes all the difference in the world. A cup of milk goes in this and I'm just using my regular 2% milk because we're gonna add some more moisture after the cake has finished cooking and just wait on that for a minute because it will surprise you what I'm gonna do. It is definitely not the norm. Got my three eggs. Now, I am only gonna mix this until everything is blended. The directions say to mix it at medium speed for two minutes. I do not do that because if you do, your cake will be tough and we don't want a tough cake. So just until it's mixed together. There. That looks just right. Now I'm gonna stir, make sure that everything is blended and there's not anything stuck on the bottom. Now this makes a little bit of a yellow batter. If you're looking for a really white, white cake, then just eliminate the whole egg and use egg whites. The directions are on the package and you'll have a whiter cake. Believe it or not, once you cut into it after it's baked, it's not quite as yellow looking as it is right now. Now I have sprayed my cake pan and I make this in a nine by 13. And I just wanna spread this out, make sure that it's nice and even. And also that pudding gives it a little bit of a yellow tint. And if you're not a fan of that, like I said, just eliminate it. But we're not going necessarily for looks in this cake. We're going for taste and lots and lots of flavor. Let me just test it out. Mmm. Ooh, that's good. Just enough coconut. Now I have my oven preheated to 325 degrees. I usually always cook my cakes at that temperature because it creates a more even cake. 350, I think the cake rises too quickly and sometimes it'll be a little lumpy. So, we don't want a lumpy Easter cake. In the oven it goes. And that's gonna take about 25 minutes. So, I'm gonna get this cleaned up and we're gonna start on poking holes in that cake when it's done. Look at this cake. Turned out perfect, it's nice and even, exactly what I was looking for, and it smells so, so good. Now, let's talk about the poke part of this cake. This is a little different. I have two cups of warm water. And to this water, 
I'm adding a half of a cup of granulated sugar. Now, this is the first recipe that I ever learned when I was making a poke cake. A good friend of mine's mother used to make this, and I just loved it. And when she gave me the recipe and I found out that water was used, I couldn't believe it. And since then, I've tried some different things. I've tried the sweetened condensed milk over the top, and believe me, that's delicious. And I've used the coconut cream, but I always go back to this recipe. I think that it has a lighter and just a better texture to it. It's not as dense. And I don't know, this is just the kind of cake that you want to eat more of. I don't know if that's a good or a bad thing, but you know, a lot of times when you're having dessert, you feel just heavy after a few bites. You don't with this cake. And I will tell you, I've even cheated a time or two and I've used Splenda instead of the sugar and it was delicious. Now, I'm gonna let that sit for just a minute little hot there while I poke the holes in this cake. Now I'm using the back of my spoon and I'm poking these holes all around. So here is my pokes in my cake. <laughs> and this water is going right over the top. And I'm just gonna make sure that I get a good bit in those holes and just pour gently and slowly. And I want some to go on the sides as well. This is a lot of liquid, but trust me, it turns out beautifully every single time. There we go. Now, I'm gonna let this cool down for just a few minutes. Then I'm gonna cover it with my cellophane wrap or press and seal, whatever you call that stuff these days. And I am gonna refrigerate this for just long enough to let it cool so we can get our topping on top. Well, the cake has cooled down enough for me to go ahead and put our topping on it. And I have got a small container of Cool Whip and that is going right over the top. One of the things about this cake that you'll need to keep in mind is that the longer it sits, the better it gets. So this is the kind of cake you really want to make the day ahead and let it sit in the refrigerator and just help all of that moisture absorb. And oh my goodness, like I said, it just continues to get better and better and better. Just wanna spread all of this to the edges. Brain is so good. Now for the coconut part of this cake. This is frozen coconut. You're not gonna find it in the baker's section of your grocery store. You will find this in the freezer section where they keep the fruits. And to me, this is so much better than just a dried, sweetened coconut. This is fresh. It's damp and it is so moist and it tastes so good on this cake. And this whole package is going on top. Let me wash up. Look at this. 
Isn't this beautiful? And like I said, the longer that it sits, the better it gets. If you can make this a day in advance, it makes a world of difference. If not, then at least morning and then serve it at night. But you know what? I cannot wait that long, so I am gonna break my own rule. My husband just got home and he saw this cake and he said, please cut me a piece so, so that he can have a piece and you can see it. I am gonna go ahead and oblige. You go. Mm. And you know that I have to taste it <laughs> just to make sure that it's good enough for him. Mm. That is already delicious. Mm -mm -mm. I hope that you'll give this recipe a try. It's one of our favorites, and I think when you make it, it's going to become one of your favorites too. Have a blessed Easter. You're a blessing to me. Thank you so, so much. Remember, celebrate Jesus. He is risen. He has risen indeed. Mm. Have a great day.